Hey, what's up everyone? So for the past two hours, I've been helping out here at the Freedom March. There's so many amazing organizations, so many amazing people that I've met, all who are overcomers. Overcomers in Christ, because we are overcomers in Christ. We are conquerors in Christ. Now, I know some people might think, a bunch of people who have had same-sex attraction all together in one place, and you know, isn't that just like a recipe for disaster? Isn't that just like tempting yourself? What I want to say to that is that no temptation has overtaken us that is uncommon to man. But God is faithful. He will always provide a way out when we are tempted. For we have a high priest who was tempted in every way, just as we are yet did not sin. Jesus is our encouragement. Jesus is our empowerment to look sin in the eye and say, no, I will not bow down to you. To look temptation in the eye and say, no, I will not give in. Because Jesus has delivered us and he is continuously delivering us. The deliverance from sin is already available to us right now. It's already in the spiritual realm. When Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, the free gift of deliverance and freedom was made available to you. All we have to do is reach out to humble ourselves, not to have pride, but to reach out to Jesus in the, in the spirit of humility with a heart that is submitted fully to God. And that's where breakthrough comes. So, oh man, I'm so excited. Look at this. So many people. Man, praise the Lord. And even, even people who, uh, who have just been walking around the, the park, I was able to talk to uh, uh, two of them, and they, they seem pretty shocked. They seem pretty shocked that we were happening, and it doesn't, doesn't matter what they think, right? It's just sharing the love of God. That is, because it is the love of God, the kindness of God that leads us to repentance. Man, I hope you, I hope you all heard that. I love this song. This song right now, as soon as they start playing this song, remember by Maverick City Music, guys, I, I started feeling a type of way because God has been, God spoke to me recently about this, through this song. It was this song that God gave to me for my 32nd birthday earlier, uh, uh, last month. And so, man, God is so good. God is so good. Hey, hey, this is Haley. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Freedom March. Freedom March. Amen. Amen. Hey, everyone, this is KP Kiana Park. Yeah, and the KP, uh, can you tell us a bit about your ministry? Absolutely. It's called Him Over Her. It's pretty much my redemption story. Uh, making the decision to live the lifestyle of Father Christ. And I'm always going to feel proud that you may not you know, want to, but because I love Jesus, Yes, powerful testimony. Him over her, that's right. That's right. Praise the Lord. Man, there's, there's so many like great people that I've, I've met here. And, like the power of God is so evident here. It's just like it's insane. It's insane. Thing. It's not a addiction to sobriety. It is literally death to life. Yes. You need the divine supernatural power of God to get you through this life. Hallelujah. I don't care what it is, whatever the situation is, whatever your struggle is. Hallelujah. You need God. His blood is sufficient. He's right. the one that has restored me. He's the one that has given me hope. And I thank you, Jesus, that you're the one, that you're the perfect example of what a man is. Father, I pray that you will continue to show the world, that you will continue to show the church that you are the example of what a man is, Lord. And I just pray that you will remove anything else that says otherwise. Father, yes. I thank you that you've made me to be a man. And I thank you that when I thought that I was supposed to be a girl, when people told me that I was too pretty to be a boy, that I will make a pretty fat girl, Oh, Lord, I thank you that you say that I'm a son. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Son. In 2021, as I'm pursuing him, 
I lay it down and I'm in a prayer group and I tell, I feel him tell me surrender control. From that day, I've now been off of testosterone for three years. Come on, Jesus. In that time, I found out I can now breastfeed. I can carry a baby and I will be married. I believe it in the name of Jesus. I believe he has a plan for me to prosper me, not to harm me. Yes. We have, I had surgeries and my chest grew back. My chest grew back. It's a real miracle. This is all me. Come on, Lord. Come on. I begin to weep and cry and say, God, I give you my lifestyle. I give you my identity. I give you my gender dysphoria. I give you my boyfriend. I give you my career. I give you my future. I put it in your hands, God. I thank you for delivering me. And the next Sunday of 2012, I walked into the front of the church because I was very unchurched at the time. And I read in the Bible that you would publicly profess that you've accepted Jesus in your life. And they said, who want to be saved? And I said, me. <laughs> I'm going to give my life to the Lord. And I turned down that record deal. I turned down the, the tour in Germany. I left my boyfriend. And I moved in with, to my grandmother's basement. And I began to read the Bible. And I've been following the Lord for now 12 years. Oh. 12 years. Oh. 12 years following Jesus, living in purity, consecrated to the Lord. Because He loves us. Oh. I'm going live. We're doing the Freedom March right now. This is amazing. This is amazing. What an amazing day it has been. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Get it. Are you? Jesus will shout your praise. Hearts will cry, these bones sing. God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue walking, marching.